guys welcome to this update video on my second channel weather extras so we're focusing on the caribbean in this very brief update this afternoon so there is a tropical wave which has entered the region and it is moving through it's headed to the western caribbean right now and we can see all of this convection in association with it so we've got all these colors these dark reds blacks grays you're seeing those are very high clouds and sometimes within them we have a lot of thunderstorm activity a lot of rainfall activity as well now as the afternoon progresses as we go on into later today over the course of the next several hours there's likely to be more thunderstorm activity popping up across areas such as jamaica hispaniola potentially cuba and even parts of the southern bahamas and turks and caicos islands so with the tropical wave in the area we're seeing quite a bit of increase in moisture around and this increase in moisture is likely to persist I, I mean i talked about it in yesterday's video on this channel it's likely to come to fruition where we're going to see uh, an active pattern kind of in the caribbean over the course of the coming days but elsewhere going to the abc islands and most of the lesser antilles it's pretty dry with much not happening and there's also the dust the saharan dust around so that is resulting in those hazy conditions you know looking in the distance at the mountains it may be very hazy and you may even experience a bit of skin and eye irritation especially with those denser dust plumes that make their way in now there is a disturbance however it is not in the atlantic basin today is the first day of the atlantic hurricane season but it is a quiet start in terms of development as nothing is expected to develop over the course of the next couple of days but in the eastern pacific the pacific hurricane season began from may 15th and there is a disturbance however it has a very low chance a 10 percent chance of uh materializing into something and over there we do see that cluster of all that shower and thunderstorm activity but the environment is not likely to be highly conducive to allow for any significant development of the system over the next couple of days but either way it's likely to move out however we uh, again we are going to see this continuous surge of uh, in moisture across parts of the Caribbean, especially in the vicinity of Central America. And we'll see if anything will try to materialize there over the next week or two. But for now, we've got a tropical wave moving through. It is enhancing the shower and thunderstorm activity. And there could be some really heavy downpours at times in the aforementioned islands at the start of the video. So I'll keep you guys posted on my main channel, of course, just taking you through what is going on this evening. And as it relates to the hurricane season, this is the list of names for the year so we've got alberto through william and this was the same list of uh, 2018 with the exception of two names francine and milton so those are two new names and they replaced florence and michael because those were two major hurricanes of 2018 and especially michael michael was a cat five that really did some damage along the gulf coast of florida so michael was retired and florence was retired in 20 well the spring of 2019 and they were replaced with francine and milton so the lists rotate every six years but when a storm was so destructive that it was retired and replaced there is a new name and the old name will never be used again for a tropical cyclone of that ocean basin so even though we may not see it again in the atlantic the same name could be used somewhere else in the world like uh, the pacific for example but for that specific basin it's not ever going to be used again so that is just some updates, guys. Again, nothing expected to form over the next uh, couple of days in the Atlantic Basin. But the tropical waves, they're coming off in their numbers, moving to the west. And it's a great source of rain for the Caribbean because we definitely need it. But in, uh, you know, at times we have the extreme rainfall events or uh, some areas may be very flood prone. And as soon as there's a heavy downpour, there is some flood in that take place but please stay safe if you should encounter any uh, heavy rainfall event especially if you're on the road uh you know if you should see any flood waters do not attempt to go through turn around don't drown so please stay safe as best as possible and i will keep you posted as best as i can on both my channels both weather extras and weather girl danny so that is it for right now I hope that you found this video to be very informative and if you have any additional questions or concerns you can leave them down in the comments and do enjoy the rest of your day.